hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in today's video you will learn how to leverage the facilities of open ai to create embeddings from a document and then with the help of langchain and pinecone we will create embedding and store it and then we will query the same indexes to you know generate a response for users question so let's get started here i am on pinecone.io website and i have logged in with my email address when you logged in you will create a default project indexes from this api keys section you need to get two things uh, your environment and your secret api key once you get these two things I'll head over to uh, my Visual Studio code and I have created a .env file and I'll put both the values uh, environment and uh, API key into that .env file. Here I'll first import few things. In this uh, Python notebook you will learn to create embeddings, uh, save those embeddings on pinecone and then query. Uh, these indexes on pinecone so i have this uh, sample pdf and i'm going to create indexes from this pdf so let me read the file path uh, before we move forward i would like to inform you that i have created my virtual environment and install all the required packages like langchain open ai pinecone and uh, py pdf2 to read pdf file so here i'm going to read the pdf file then loop over all the pages and extract the text and append it to this uh, text variable so let me run that and let's see text so you can see it's a huge piece of text okay now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to create a loader that will load all the text file so this piece of code has created this output dot text file okay and i'm going to load uh, that text file into this loader then i'm going to create documents you can see oh sorry uh, documents you can see uh, documents are the documents from the text okay now uh, next what i'll do is that you know it is possible to push all the documents uh, in a single uh, strike but it is you know i guess it is not that convenient so what we'll do is that we will split the text into small small chunks and then you know uh, push those chunks on pinecone so for that text splitting i'll use recursive character text splitter and uh, i'll split the documents into piece of text and we can see that now texts are uh, you know documents which has content and uh, things like all the other like uh, parameters will be there maybe yeah metadata as well so these are our text so you can say this is our index this is our another index this is our another index so these are our indexes now let's create embeddings so we are going to use open ai embeddings to create our embeddings and in order to initialize this object you need to pass uh, this open ai api key at this point i'm reading from this config okay i'm reading from this config but uh, in case you don't want to push it anywhere you can just hard code the key otherwise you can read it from environment file so let me run this as well and now i'll initialize the pinecone uh, package for that i'm going to need api key and environment 
and we already have it from the pinecone website so let me run this now uh, i'm going to create a variable called index name uh, let's call it test first let's see if we already have indexes or not so you can see we don't have any indexes now let's create index so for that you'll need uh, index name and dimension and for dimension what i am going to use is open ai uh, embeddings uh, dimension yeah 1536 so we are using open ai embeddings function to create our embedding that's why we are going to use 1536 so let me hit enter yeah this will take uh, time and meanwhile if i come here and refresh this uh, sorry i need to go to indexes yeah you can see test index is created uh, which has dimension 1536 and it is initializing so i think it will take about a minute then what we'll do is that we will create vector db which is our so actually we don't need to capture it yeah we don't need to capture it what we'll do this is lang chain class pinecone and with the help of that we will provide our documents we will provide the embeddings and we will provide the index name so this function will store uh, all the documents these documents and convert embeddings out of those documents and then store it as indexes on pinecone so let me run this and if i go here if i refresh this hopefully and go to tests you can see yeah 32 and if i refresh i think it will go up to 99 yeah it is creating yeah 160 oh it went higher than what i expected so uh, we have around 1016 vectors on our pine cone so yeah this uh, piece of code ran successfully now we have our indexes on our pine cone let's create a db which reads from the existing indexes from pine cone uh, for that again we need to provide the index name and embeddings uh, for embeddings we are using open ai embeddings so i'll create this db and if i look into that you can see it's a vector store uh, pine cone now uh, in order to query the indexes what i'm going to do is i'm going to use retrieval qa uh, from chain type and for llm we are going to use open ai uh, chain type is stuff and retriever is db as retriever so in order to retrieve information we are going to use this db so let me run this and let me run the question what are the different spiritual laws and it will going to query our db and then generate a response like this okay so this is retrieval qa chain uh, this retrieval qa chain doesn't have memory but you know in order to have memory you can use prompt engineering but the easier way is to use a conversational retrieval chain which has memory so uh, this is my conversational retrieval chain from LLM and again I'm going to use uh, open AI for LLM now you see I'm, I'm using a variable called chat history which is at this point empty and this is my query and I'm passing two things question and chat history into this uh, retrieval QA chain sorry ret uh, conversational retrieval chain and uh, 
let me see the results so this is the result now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to append a tuple uh, first element is my query and second element is my uh, answer so that it will create a kind of memory now i'm going to ask can you explain the first one so you can see that the answer the first one is the law of pure potentiality uh, so with the help of chat history i am creating a context and then um, you know retrieving the answer based on the previous question and the current question as well and if i run this you can see that this was the chat history and this is the answer and it says that the law of pure potentiality state that and it goes on so i hope this is helpful to you and you have gained some knowledge so we have uh, read a pdf file created a plain text file out of that then loaded that text file created documents with the help of splitter splitted the document into smaller chunks and then with the help of open ai embeddings and pine cone we have created embeddings and stored it into uh, pine cone and with the help of again lang chain loaded that and with the help of retrieval qa chain and uh, conversational retrieval chain we can query the indexes so in one of my upcoming videos i'm going to create a chatbot using the same uh, methodology we have seen today i'm sure that you have gained some knowledge out of this video and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace